Hey guys, Amelia here. We are back with Persona 5 and we are trying to find out who the crime boss is, the mafia boss. We have to know who he is and then we have to steal him because Makoto has evidence on us as the Phantom Thieves and she will return it in. And uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. Ray Ryuji found out that this guy, Ida, is, um, he's basically been spending money left and right, says he's got a really good part-time job. So it was decided that An would talk to him because guys talk more comfortably to girls, which I think is BS. Um, but we're going to back her up if necessary. Sorry for asking you so suddenly. And so I really need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ikun. Please? You don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um, now that you mention it, yes. So, um, what I mean is... This is going south fast. Oh, oh, Francois. Huh? Hey, wait! Hey, what are you... Um... M my cat Francois got run over by a car, and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. <sighs> That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Um... I if Francois to die, were to die, I think I'd die too, probably. Come on, don't talk like that. You don't mind, if you don't like do it, you? then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who? Huh? Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey. Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... That's incredible. She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on, let's leave this guy to on and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Great. <laughs> we have to go looking across hey. the school. Do you have a minute? Um. You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Oh. What's the word on Ida? So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. Remember that he's been spending money like crazy lately. I also hear that he's been acting weird. If you're curious about Ida, I'd say it's best to ask Nishima. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere oh. in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Mm. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishima's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Um, let's see. Nothing over this way. Maybe the newspaper club member will. Phoenix King, is President Nijima keeping an eye on you? Your student council is on edge. Hurry up. Do you have anything you want to ask about? Nishima. Nishima-kun, are you looking for him? He's a really serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library after school. The library is just up on the floor above this one. Why don't you go talk to him? The Mafia. I heard the mugging, scams, prostitution, and drugs are making them tons of money. Most of their victims have been high schoolers, leading our school to warn its students as well. But nobody actually knows how they operate. Even the police are completely lost. Victims are... The principal asked for us to come forward with any information we might have, right? I heard someone did come to the student council, saying they were being threatened. I don't want to assume this of you, but you didn't have anything to do with that, right? Jeez. Ida. Ida-kun from your class? I've heard he's a serious student, although he has seemed a little down lately. I wonder what happened. Okay, so... Up on third floor, right? I can't do this. Knew she was the right person to ask. No Makoto. So hmm. What's wrong? Ah, oh, well, it's nothing. I was just looking at the bulletin. Anyway, how is the investigation going? I don't believe there's much time left at this point. Anything. It's hmm. going well. I'm glad I have something to look Actually... forward to. Anyway, this is a very important matter for our school. I hope you can return with good news. And don't worry, I'll keep my promise as long as you uphold your end of the bargain. Great person, isn't she? I had a book I need to return anyway, right? Ah! Fine. I really, really freaking hate when they don't let you do something. Nishima. Nishiyama? That's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? What's this about a job? Job? Are you talking about that one time? I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. Did that something Ida? Wait. Have you been... Are you doing something to him? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. What do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Tell me what you know. 
One day the two of us went to Shibuya and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ido was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was this job? Uh, um, I don't know. I was so scared I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes 10 minutes and is good for people who don't stand out. What happened after that? Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? Mm, the man on Central Street. Hmm? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes. Have you found out anything, Raiden? I have tried looking into this high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be taking, talking about it here as well. Supposedly a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street, and your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. So that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Sounds like... More fraud? The Mafia are apparently behind all those scams. Maybe they're delivering the money from those? But it's in a small envelope. I doubt big stacks of cash would fit in there. Hmm, any other ideas? It's something, it's something the Mafia would commit. Drugs? Oh. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Edith smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Did you meet Nishiya Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my own anyway. Rumor has it he got involved in some kind of suspicious part-time job. And that job's apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs, I think. I hear they ask you to take part in it and down on Central Street. In broad daylight, even. For real? So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Ah! Let me turn the book I've got. Down we go. What do you think? Did my information come in handy? I did, thanks. <laughs> no problem. I just wanted to see you guys now succeed. You, mention it. you wanted to ask Ada something, right? He's still in the classroom with Tsukama Kisan. Tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. Uh, She's still doing that? Alright, take over for her. Give it up, Ida. Phoenix! Come on, you too. I already told you I don't know. Nishiyama told me everything. He did? That bastard. Damn it. Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. But I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You're a drug smuggler. How do you... I've only told one person about that. All people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. <laughs> You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Did you accept the money? Are you being- Well, clearly he accepted the money. He's been spending it left and right. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Well, why in the heck why did they even give you- this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Never. I see. Well- even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. Why on earth would they even deposit the money in your bank account in the first place if they were just going to extort you? Or blackmail you? Like, they could have blackmailed you with the photos before giving you the money. So why? How'd it go? Did Ahn's acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything, Raiden? It's drugs. So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. I just searched for Shibuya drugs and got tons of hits, too. So they're making people traffic drugs, then threatening them. 
That must be what I heard people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What bold methodology. I would imagine they would do it at night. I wonder why they chose the day. They go for high schoolers. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Ryuji, you're of Inchibuya now, right? Do you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm at Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there are just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do, Raiden? Let's do this tomorrow. Let's stop for today. Yeah, we can team up and try searching again tomorrow. I bet Ryuji would get picked up by the cops soon who was out there alone anyway. Shut up. In any case, we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is, too. Alright, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight and we can come up with a plan. <sighs> ah, thought I actually had a customer, but it's just you. I never get many customers when it rains. The cash register is going to run dry at this rate. We have to find them tomorrow for sure. This is the only lead we have right now. Yes, it is highly likely that this part-time solicitor is somehow related to the Mafia. If we tell him, he may lead us straight back to his boss. He talked to Ida and Nishiyama over at Central Street, right? Indeed, it seems that is where our target waits. But then, who should be the one to go? Leave it to me. Yeah, that'd probably be the best idea. On stand out too much. I'll take that as a compliment. I have no objections. We'll leave this to you, Raiden. Tricking people and using that as blackmail? These bastards are true cowards. It's kind of scary to think people like that are all around us in the city. Well, guys, we gotta brace ourselves. We're up against a serious criminal here. Hello, master. Ooh. So I can go anywhere I wanted. But this would be a good idea time to... Hello, Master. It's Becky, your provider of comfort. I need to ask you, can you request me? The request is 5,000 yen, but I promise I'll do a good job. You accepted Kawakami's deal. Be sure to accept her invitations until you gain her trust, okay? Okay. Owie. Like 20 grand yen. But really? You request me? Okay, I'll be, I'll be sure to make your room absolutely spotless today. Be there soon. Creepy. Um, I love cleaning shabby. I mean, sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? I feel nothing. I'll tell your boss. <laughs> Aw, Master. Even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby chic feel, you know? And now, cleaning is complete. Ugh. I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my day off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments, and today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest! Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feel a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. You weren't expecting me to do anything weird with me. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? Absolutely not. As long as you understand. I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I try not to get too involved with my students, so... Oh, I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know it, it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know of any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. You need money? Well, uh... You know... It's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount as last week. I... No, no. Yes, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Uh, oh, wrong number. Hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? Wait, no, never mind. Owing one of my students' money could be the worst. Hey, you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting it on services like this. 
Are you scolding me? Or this is all for you? I requested you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. I can sense Kabakami's trust in me. Really? Because it didn't seem like there was much trust there. All right. Ooh, okay. I need to get a temperance. One, three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, Master. Okay. Kawakami left. Tomorrow's Thursday. Hopefully it's still raining and we can use the bathhouse. Hopefully. So humid. Ugh, it's so stuffy in this bag. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Shady Drug Deals in Shibuya. It's the same organization behind both this and the extortions. Alongside the phishing scams that have been on the rise, this may be their source of funding. Restaurant Factory Fire. A worker from the restaurant giant Haneru Haneruya was arrested for arson. Though he admits to the charges, he claims to not know why he did it. This industry is raising eyebrows. Mm. Oh yeah, something weird happened in food service before, right? Some employee cooking naked? With all, those, with all these extortions and scams, this world's really messed up. I suppose that's one way to look I at it. Get it. I saw Nijima arguing with the principal of the Mafia or something. What was that all about? I heard he I hear her older sister's involved with the investigation. Maybe she's just trying to play detective too. Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. She and the principal can both get lost. His weird his head doesn't look right on his shoulders. Yo. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. It'll be quite difficult to figure out how, given the number of people around, though. You have to do this. Yeah. Right, we're gonna grab them by the tail. As we discussed yesterday, we should you should head over to Central Street, riding. All right. Sweet, let's, let's get, get going. going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Alright, let's go, just as we planned. We might end up running into Mafia, be ready for anything. Well, there's Makoto. Hello. Are you investigating here with your friends today? I hope something comes of it. I'll be counting on you. Mm. Is she following us? Nah, that can't be. This is no time for detours. Okay, so I can't do anything. Listen. Once again, nothing to report. There are many people falling victim, yet no perpetrators. They appear and disappear as they please. Not only that, but they blend in with normal teenagers. Stop complaining. If we don't try getting information, people will say the police are useless. The media are already on our case, and the higher-ups aren't doing a thing. This is bad for morale. Hmm. Hey, aren't you interested in, the hall the, in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so we have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. I'm not interested. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Really, the shop's right over there. Just go take a look. Hey! It seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. Another guy over there. Man wearing hat. What's wrong, kid? Don't see guys like me very often? I want a part time job. Hmm? Is that supposed to be some kind of password? I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't been here long. Try talking to someone else. Don't play dumb with me. Are you confusing me with someone else? I've got a friend around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way, but I don't think he's there today. Might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. See. Maybe this other person would know something? Apparently he's near the train station, so let's go take a look over there. Hmm. Find the homeless man. Hmm? Feel free to look as much as you want. It's fine by me. Hey, don't talk to him. Let's get moving. Uh, something about that doesn't seem right. Can't be. 
Miss President's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Well, let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things going on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try staking out the underground walkway. Then I'll check around Inagami Line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. I'll gather some more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end, right? Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being Phantom Thieves. We can't follow behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. There she is again. Oh. Did you see? You seem to be working hard. Did you find any clues? I'm hmm. looking for someone. Hmm? You're trying to find a homeless man? That's a good idea. They would know a lot about what goes on in this town. I haven't seen any here, but I would bet there is some in the underground area. Hmm. Underground. Hmm. I don't like the idea of it, but we should go check it out. I thought I saw something over here. Anything I need? Come on, man. Hmm. What's here? Hmm? Hey, I was on a message board the other day and came across this. Bill 10,000 at HQ. Huh? Is that code or something? It seems a little suspicious. Yeah, a lot of people have been having weird conversations like that online. Bill 10,000... HQ? Um... Sapphire. Oh, there we go. It's like, <laughs> where am I going? Homeless man. What's with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, just say it. I want a part-time job. A part-time job? You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice. Don't do it. I'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. The Mafia is evil, I tell you. How do I meet them? They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area around now. But just so you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrases. Code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. How's it going? Have you found anything? Maybe a little. Ah, so you've grasped something already. Ask to be excited to someone like you, Raiden. Why don't we just go over the intel we've gathered so far? I'll start. Supposedly, supposedly some guy near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs. I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the station plaza. Apparently, they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. On my end, I heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables and something about snow tomorrow. I will go observe, just in case. The arcade is on Central Street, correct? Okay. Alright, we should go do we should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Ice and snow. Those are code names for drugs, aren't they? What did it say again? Maybe it's some kind of industry lingo. Either way, it doesn't have anything to do with us. Hmm. Oh! I didn't expect I could actually go there. Uh. Listen. I told you, that drug is perfect. Deliver it quick. I've heard it's super effective. Even the most barren deserts will become lush forests of hair. So that's who Ryuji was talking about, Lush Force. I don't really want to know. I guess I can see how you'd mistake him for what we want, though. Hmm? Hello, young man. Would you happen to know how I could board the Inogami line? Hmm. Uh, go down the stairs, then turn left. Be careful, Granny. Oh, shipping is so complicated. These phones don't move like they used to, either. How troubling. Ugh, oh, come on. Oh. Oh, right. Sorry, my lead didn't end up being anything. That due to the stairs. Pretty misleading, huh? Sheesh. Oh, what about An and Yusuke? You should go check on them. Hey, Granny, you okay? You're looking pretty shaky, so I don't mind giving you a hand. Aw, isn't he sweet? Head to the station square. Head to the back alley. Station square is Ans. And I'm pretty sure it's got nothing to do with that. 500,000 yen for just one video. You may even get more popular. You may even get more if you're popular. I can do videos. Huh? You want to be in one of our videos? I guess I can't say there's no demand. But our company only hires girls. Sorry. Be in a video? What kind of job is that? Though I guess it doesn't have anything to do with drugs. It must not be him. Sorry. 
Sorry, Raiden. There's nothing over here. Look, someone's asking about a video shoot over by the train, but I guess that's for models. In any case, they're not here. Go try seeing what Ryuji and Yusuke have. Yeah, I figured it was Yusuke's behind the arcade. Oh, they moved. I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade, you're a high school student, aren't you? You better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place you go to play games. That's crazy. Mm. You again. I take it you found your guy at the station? Then please stop talking to me. I don't want to get involved in all this shady business. Mm. Maybe it's them. Oh! What did I do? Oh. Hello. Have you made any progress toward fighting the boss? Things are going well. That's good to hear. Hey, dude. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. <laughs> it seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hey. Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that is suspicious materials? <laughs> You're a funny girl. Hmm. So you won't answer me. Then I was right. What? Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Violence is not the answer. Oh. Damn. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Uh, um, if you don't want to deal with us, you could always we could always go see your boss ourselves. Shut up. I'm really gonna say that knowing who he is. Eh, no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. Let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. All right then. I'm going to go now. Hmm. That boss seems tricky. It looks like he's taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Man. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. How about it? Wanna meet up? Let's not. Let's do it. Do you think it's safe, though? We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, safe we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon, so let's disband for today and report on our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can talk in private and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, oh, that must be what they call hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. Wait, is that wrong too? Um, hello? Happy hour. Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. Karaoke, eh? Oh! It's an unknown number. Hello? Fiendus Coon, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. How do you get my number? I dug I'm it up. Sorry. I realize I am apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, all so right then. that's all. Bye. Hey. You talking to a woman? Oh, I heard her voice. Yeah. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon, says she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. I see. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That needs my sure is thorough. Mm. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Know what day it is? It's Thursday! And it's rainy! Bathhouse. I should really, um, work on some lockpicks, though. But those can come later. Okay. Bathhouse. And... If I use the bathhouse, I think I'd come out with a bit more charm than I had before. Oh. Let's go in. This mugwort bath is warming my body. Oh. You came out of there looking really refreshed. These medicinal baths must be quite effective. Oh, and you smell good, too. You're looking great. 
three gold points. All right. Wanna head back? Come on, we should get home before you get cold. But I didn't rank up this time. Oh well. I secretly root for them. Hmm, seems interesting. Is it just me or are there a ton of police here today? I got I've got a job you could do. Wanna hear more? Another psychotic breakdown? Oh, you mean how they're increasing security in Chibuya? They're the scum of society. Hurry up and arrest them. Friday the 17th. Hi. So we meet again, but my, what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarami's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? A criminal, I would think. I see. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. I wonder when we'll get to work on his confidant. Or is he one of those that will just rank up whenever he ranks up and that's it? Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. And we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that really mafia like is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. <laughs> I thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. What about the media? That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Did we meet oh, her up the other day? yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? The business card says Ichiko Oya of Mayasa Newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. If she can get a okay, scoop out of it. Let's contact her. Although why would she want oh, to help yes. you? Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Ah, come on, let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? You got it. That's what I do. Hey. You've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose into other people's business. Mm. The chief's as, as sharp as ever, but it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Aren't you bored? If I've got I've got some time today, if you want me to show you the ropes. I do all kinds of chores. Oh, ooh. Mm. What's his one? Hero, right? I don't think I have that one. Yeah, but I also don't have a temper one, either. 
Uh. And of course. Oh, there's too many confidants to choose from! Ah! Uh. Let's do hers. I can do all kinds of housework, you know. If you have time, request me by phone. Okay, I'm still at work. I'll talk to you later. Cobble Company's working today. Use the yellow phone if you're gonna call her. Call her. Let's go make the call then. Although, since it costs 5000 to do it, we should probably not, uh... This is Becky. Thanks for calling me on this rainy day. Ah, oh, hold on. It's you. I barely get any customers on rainy days. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5000 yen. I don't think my bond with Kawakami will deepen just yet. Hey! Uh, hmm. It would cost 5,000 yen. Alright, let's do it. But I really need to get a temper. Then a temperance. Okay, I'll get dropped off from the store then. Please clean up your room and wait for me. Isn't the whole point that you're supposed to clean up the room? Wasn't that what I was paying you the 5,000 yen for? Kawakami cleaned my room. She seems to be thankful that I requested her. I feel like my bond with Kawakami will go stronger soon. Thank you for using our service. Makoto? I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I thought you would do such a thing, but try to avoid running around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. They got involved in criminal acts and were blackmailed into working at illegal sex establishments. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. Well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <sighs> You're unforgivable. That's really, like, nosy for the school. Any lifestyle changes? Is that a common thing in Japan? Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one, then. We must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this. I am merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Now he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. Um. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Uh, hold Calm on. down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That's, That's not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Then please, please hurry. <sighs> well then. We'll just have to wait for any word. Let's just prepare the plan in the meanwhile. Sorry to bother you while you were accepting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the burger group of burglars in Shibuya? It seems the one who posted about his brother is a student at my school. And so after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh right, I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed, now I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makigami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. I even found the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in mementos. This burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as the Mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a fan of is really about. It seems we are unanimous, then. We can further discuss the details of the hideout. 
We have a target. We also have the mafia to deal with too, so make sure the timing's right. Anyway, let's all meet up at the hideout when you're ready. Ban thieves versus burglary ring. How's your health? What are your plans? Huh. Oh, great. Awesome. Hmm. Going to her. We have a death persona right now. Well, we just did hers. But we'd probably rank up, too. Hmm. What are your plans? What are your plans for today? I'm in Shibuya watching people. I'll be in the station for a while, so let me know if something comes up. Seems like Yusuke hasn't gone home yet. Wanna go see him for a bit? Decide later. How's your health? How's your health? I'm all prepped and ready for your clinical trial. If you come now, you won't have to wait. Takemi seems to be waiting to clinic. You wanna go see her? But this will probably be a good time to unlock Yusuke's confidant, right? I don't know when we'll get another chance. Uh, decide later. Okay, we'll go to him. Go right away. I see. I'll be in the underground passage. Don't miss me. Wasn't planning on it. Hello. Ah, right. The station is always full of people. It serves as the perfect spot for people watching. By the way, do you have any business here? I came to see you. <laughs> you hey, might may us have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. May I get a word? I'd like to speak with you. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with Yusuke. Do you have time? Let's stop. Yes. Do you remember I mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I'm having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? What should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? Mementos. Oh, I see. Mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on okay. things. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Wait, wait. What? What? Mementos? Huh? Oh. The, oh, okay. This distorted realm teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. From that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serve to distance me from reality? That filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? What's the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Just hurry it up. Give me your brush. Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hmm, the lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel the revelation approaching. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Inspiration has struck. That must be it. Such brilliant composition. Ah, my heart races. Ah! How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. What even on this gu- What? Ah. Uh. Biscuit rotting meat is frozen. Awesome. Persona. Hi, Pixie. Huh. Not that. Or do I have another one that? Hmm. Is Mabufu anywhere? Or maybe Magar I honestly have no idea. But at least they're all weak now. Let's go. 
course, it won't be anywhere near as, um... Oh, well, it worked anyway. Okay. Another blank card. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. What are you talking about? I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Thanks. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? It's a blank card the shadow dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. Huh? Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... Recarm? My picture turned into a real skill card? That's an amazing power. Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome the slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? Let's do it. It's a deal then. Why are we striking a deal? I can sense Yusuke's trust in me. So I guess we gained him as a confidant. That's at least good. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? Drawing cards. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break it thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Ha, <laughs> Emperor. That's so apropos. Novice duplication allows Yusuke to use blank cards to duplicate low rank skill cards. All right. Okay. Can I make whatever skill I want? You can now ask Yusuke to use his duplication ability to make you copies of skill cards. To copy a skill card, give Yusuke a blank card in the card you want to copy. Both cards will be available for you to pick up the next day. The blank card will be transformed to create the new skill card. Yusuke will turn both the new and original cards to you. Blank cards can be obtained from treasure chests and memento and for negotiating with shadows. Try to find as many as you can. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. I'll see you later. Cloudy. The journalist responded to me. Hmm. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this crossroads play crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. What's Shinjuku like? Mm. Let me see. I guess to put it simply, it's a nightlife district for adults. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night, eh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies. I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Raiden will go, okay? Got it. If Raiden's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Wait! Wait, are you going to go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. I'm about to say, well, if it's a place for adults, we should probably shouldn't go in the school uniform. For real? You're still in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. 
People aren't going to notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. You stand out. You think so? I thought this is normal. I'm surprised you were thinking anything. Look, it won't be my fault when the cops catch you. Come on. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're gonna, if we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Man. Is this really gonna be okay? Doubtful. Come on, let's hop on the JL. Get, go out of here and head through the ticket gates on the right. Okay. Come to think of it, I'm starving. Let's get this over with so we can eat somewhere. Ah! The platform for the Ginza line is this way, through the ticket gate. This one's for the Ginza line. The ticket gate for the JL is downstairs. Well, why didn't you tell me that? You said it was the one on the right. Okay, and underground walkway, is this it? Isn't that the way to your house? Come on, we gotta get on the JL. What is this? I'm not interested. Yeah. Alright, let's head to Shinjuku. Another heart of Tokyo with an active nightlife and downtown shops, bars open to minors. Conversation can be enjoyed at any age. All right. You cannot go to Shinjuku. Hey. Shinjuku is outside of the area where your commuter pass works, right? You'll have to pay a fare. Ow. The school commuter train pass allows you to travel for free on two railway lines: Yonganjaya to Shibuya and Shibuya to Aoyama Ichome. You will have to pay a fare to tra for travel outside of these areas, so be aware and make travel plans accordingly. Man, I'm gonna need to go to Memento soon just to grab some treasure to sell. I'm getting kinda Whoa. low. Whoa, even at night this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey. Stop looking around so much, you look like a tourist. I, I was just trying to find that place we're looking for. Crossroads bars right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Oh boy. Okay. What's over here? Nothing. Oh, is that that guy again? Welcome to our izakaya. How about some all-you-can-drink booze on the cheek? Wait, you underage? Is that a problem? <laughs> so you're just a kid. Get out of here. You're in the way. You're the one who was all, all wanting to talk to us. Um, let's see here. Ooh, vending machine. Oh, fine. So there's a movie theater right here. A bookstore. Flower shop. Hey man, you wanna come play? Touch all you want, no added fees. We have the cutest girls in town too. I'm not interested. Come on, I'll make it cheap. What do you say? Just ignore the guy, you idiot. No matter what way you cut it, he's a shady character. General store? Interior furnishing shop, huh? Huh? It says it's closed at night. Let's come right here some other time. Right now we gotta meet that journalist. Okay, so there's a bookstore here. Which I know. Yep. And then another vending machine. Fine. Do you have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. I'm a college student. Yep. Oh yeah, we're adults, you see. Hmm, are you a friend of his? Wait a second, I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Even on the news. Oh yeah, it was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Whoa. Shit. You kids have got to be high schoolers. Come hey, with me. Wait. Shoot, this is why I said uniforms are a bad idea. Let's run. How much longer until we get there? Come on, man. Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Um, it wouldn't have been a big problem if you hadn't have been. We're in school uniform! What? I excuse me. You. For the blonde one, I can send some pending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. 
In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please let me examine your future further. Huh? Let me? Right. Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Oh, More man. of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. See. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. I can't listen to this. Please be careful. If you would like your fortune read, I'll be waiting here in this no. spot at night. Huh, okay. So it's like an actual thing. You can't be out at night in Japan if you're a high schooler. Whoa, man, we ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is a place? Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like the nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. We got caught last time, too. Just wait outside. I came all the way to Shinjuchu and can't even go in. Fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. I should have gone and gotten Welcome. Jake. Welcome. 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 Lala Escargo. Hmm? How old are you, boy? Hey! Sorry, Lala Chan, he's with me. Oh, boy. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let him mind or drink alcohol, okay? Good gracious. Talk, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Lala Chan, I'm going to borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there, I'll treat you to some water. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Why Shibuya is dangerous, who controls Shibuya? Oh. Why that? I need intel on their boss. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? Are those your terms? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. After all, it seems like handling this matter in the open would be an inconvenience to us both. Hmm. A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. I know someone, I accept your offer. It's a deal then! Send me your friend's contact info later. I mean... You better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Uh, An was abused, Ryuji was abused. It, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But... I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. He doesn't even have anything. problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. All right, we did it. We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. How'd it go? Nailed it. For real? Awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in from the movie theater, so head on over. It's that kind of open area pass on your way to the bar. So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. Which sounds really super simple, but I have a feeling it's not. Hey! Hey, I'm tired of waiting. You get any dirt on our next target? 
For real? Junya Kanashiro? Hey! Not so loud. Junya Kanashiro. And enter. Alright. Here we go. Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Let's try tomorrow. It'd be better when we're the whole team together. Right, I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. This is totally crazy, though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Ooh, a real huge catch, you say. I'm getting pumped, too. What a cutie. And so muscular, too. I give you an 85 out of 100. <laughs> yeah, who are you? <laughs> I'm the naughty troll of Shinjuku. I'm gonna eat you up. Hey, wait, let me go. Dude, help. You can hear me, can't you? So this is in Shinjuku. Hey. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of dog in a kennel. Your friend is in serious trouble here. <laughs> what an energetic stud muffin. I'll give you all the freebies you could ever desire. The night is young and so are you. Let's party it up. Oh my. Um, <sighs> Come back alive. Wanna head back? Hey, there's nothing else for us to do here, right? Let's head home for the night. Wow. Just wow. Did you find any clues? I have a name. You did it! Well then let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already on Kanashiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. It was. I don't think it seemed very easy. Shinjuku sure was crazy, huh? Hey, some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me? She said she's interested in me. What's this about? And what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? Totally cute. Seriously? Oya-san. She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? Yep, good for you. You'll find out. Man, I am so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. Oh my god, what even? <laughs> Why didn't we tell him that she was just looking for information? Ah, uh, poor Mishima. We have an update on the arson case at a factory for restaurant giant Hanaruya. The arrested employee continues to state that he cannot recall ever committing the crime. With no testimony to link to a motivation, the cause remains unclear. Crimes with suspects unable to explain their motives continue to occur in the restaurant industry. There's all sorts of incidents going on. Arson is pretty scary. How's the house plan doing? Doing pretty good. Alright. Um, looks like we're going to end it here. We did pretty good, I think. Um, well, we, we did what we were supposed to do. So, we're good. We're gonna find Kanashiro's palace. We're gonna... I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna find the palace. We're gonna make sure Makoto, Makoto doesn't uh, give up that information on us. We're good. So, yep, we're gonna end an episode here. We're gonna go to bed, and um, we will pick this back up in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.